It's long been the benchmark for fine dining. The Michelin Guide, created in 1900 as a travel guidebook. Ever since, chefs around the world have coveted those elusive stars. And now restaurants in Quebec are in the running. We've been pretty excited. Montreal has always been seen as the culinary capital of Canada, though Michelin first went to Toronto and Vancouver. This chef believes having the Michelin Guide here will provide an economic boost. Do I believe that we needed Michelin before now? I don't think so. Am I glad that they're here? Absolutely. But other chefs worry the guide's emphasis on fine dining is restrictive and Eurocentric. In rewarding stars, the guide looks at the quality of the ingredients, mastery of cooking and culinary techniques, harmony of flavors, personality of the dishes, and consistency. I don't want it to be uh, you go into a restaurant and then they're clicking the box. Antonio Park is a culinary superstar not just in Montreal but around the world. He worries restaurants in the city will try to chase stars, changing the dynamic of the scene. We are all about the whole package of giving them pleasure, making them feel like home. We're a city where, you know, la joie de vivre. Still. Yes, I want one, uh, two or three. <laughs> Michelin was given $2.1 million in grants over three years, including money from the city, province and Ottawa. This to a company worth billions of dollars. Why do they get so much funding so quickly? For the past 10 years, Elise Tasté has built up her own guide to Quebec restaurants. Michelin targeting to like people who want that and high-end restaurants, like getting those tourists, I think it's fantastic. There is going to be less visibility for the smaller uh, restaurant, but that's where I come in. Just who gets those stars will be revealed in 2025. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.